Hey guys, it's time traveling, Robbie. I'm here from October this year. That's right. I know the next ban list. Uh, now I know this. This is this is strange, isn't it? That I would be willing to share with you guys the secret to the future. Well, you guys always know about Steins Gate and all the theories. Well, some young man recently posted on social media and claimed to know the list, and I'm here to confirm that theory. Let's dig on into the, <laughs> the October 2019th ban list that one guy claims is going to change the world, and this is why he doesn't work in R&D. Alright, so I read a lot of ban list predictions, and it's always hilarious to see these things, especially so easy. So this is Mr. Dion Barons, freshly posted on Zodiac yesterday afternoon's ban list, and this is the future of Yu-Gi-Oh, ladies and gentlemen. I love these. So banned, by the way. So it's now October. We have went ahead and said, all right, Megaton sales are done. We don't need any more money. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ban Sky Striker Ace Ray. And we're going to take Engage with it because we think that allowing the player base, three reprints, by the way, absolutely enough. You know, we don't like the fact that Engage is being splashed in all these decks. We're going to just... Hope you enjoy having Kagari in your One Hornet drones, by the way, because that's the only way you're going to be making your beautiful Sky Strikers. Now, we don't like anything else that the format's doing either, so we're going to ban Salaman Great Circle and Mirage Dalio. You see, we here in the future don't like Salaman Great. See, with Master Rules 6 coming right around the corner here next year, we decided that we needed to take a preemptive approach to this list. So, seeing that Circle and Mirage Shalio being combo pieces, nah, we don't need that in the format. We're gonna go ahead and just amputate that. No problem, all right? We're also gonna ban Thunder Dragon Colossus and specifically Thunder Dragon Roar. You guys like regular Thunder Dragon, we understand. We're not gonna touch those cards. All right, those are fine. They've been around for the longest time. Being able to discard for an extra copy of Thunder Dragon itself, is fine, all right? No problem whatsoever. But that's not all. You thought we were gonna forget about Orcust. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ban Galtea and Dingrisu as well. To be honest with you guys, I think Dingrisu being able to overlay for free on top of Longrisu is just so crazy powerful. We can't actually allow that to progress in the game state and being able to bot remove anything on the opponent's field, totally unfair, all right? So we're just gonna take care of that and nip it in the butt. Triff, don't worry buddy, we know that you've got plus 16 combos coming in just a month as soon as we start seeing previews for the next set. Don't worry, we went ahead and we fixed pendulums for you as well. The future is looking great for everybody. We went ahead and we banned Dark Worm and we banned Electromite. Alright, pendulum players, you'll still be able to do plus 1 combos, um, but plus 16 is just really unheard of out here in the future, so that's fine. And. I also would like to announce that we made a mistake in the future as well. Nibiru and Dark Ruler No More are also banned. These cards were too insane for the player base. Um, we actually realized that generic cards that stop a player from actually interacting in the game was too crazy. So we've went ahead and we've banned these cards. Yes, I'm sorry that you guys spent all of this money on product to get these cool new anti-meta cards so that you could play the game. We went ahead and we fixed the mistake that was made, and well, we've corrected it. So those are all of the bans for the October list, all right? We did it, we think that the game is healthy now. Now, going to one. So, we heard many complaints uh, from the player base about this Grand Manju thing. Now, we featured it once at an event, and we saw that you were all happy about it. And we've taken mass consideration to this, and we think that normal summon 99,000 beat sticks are too powerful. So we've gone ahead and we've put Grand Manju to one for all of you. Uh, watching these one of stick on the field is totally unfair. Now you're going to have to splash this one of into your deck to basically be able to win the game. I, sorry, I'm just the bearer of bad news. Once again, this is the future talking here. Now, that being said, we're also going to limit Widow Anchor to one because we think banning Mirage, Dalio, and Circle weren't enough to be able to hinder these decks. Uh, excuse me, 
widow anchor and whatnot. I, I got ahead of myself here. We're also banning bail or putting Blalenix to one. Absolutely sorry about the mix up. I'm still flustered about this as I had invested in both of those decks in the past. I, I still feel the pain that came from this list. So we've gone ahead and we've put Balenix and Widow Anchor to one. Being able to still multi-roll and resolve and set the one of Widow Anchor, um, even though you don't have draw power or things like that, was absolutely disgusting to the development of the game. So we think that that is absolutely needed in the development of the game. Now, you've probably looked at all these changes and went, well, where are we putting the danger cards? Well, we didn't forget about them. Um, putting them to two wasn't enough. We've went ahead and we've limited Jackalope, Nessie, and Tsuchinoko all to one. Now, by limiting the danger engine even further, we've reduced the luck factor in this game and the consistency of the engine as well. So only being able to resolve and draw one time off of each copy. Yes, we know that you still have Dogman. We know that you'll be playing Dogman in the future once we ban Mothman, because he's the real troublesome card. But currently on the sus list and limited, Tsuchinoko, Nessie, and Jackalope. Now, we've also went ahead and put Orcust Nightmare to one. Um, we know that without Galtea and Gdingrisu that this was the appropriate hit for this card. Completely unfair, by the way. Being able to not be killed in battle via a lake monster, too powerful, and the rest of the Orcus combo is still very degenerate. So we went ahead and also cleaned that up. And we did not forget about Chaos Dragon, Lavanir. We've put Lavanir to one on this list as well to prevent you guys from further abusing it. I mean, we understand that Chaos Ember Dragon, a Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, all exist. But we think that all of these cards should be used in some sort of one of, as they would say. So yes, don't get too crazy. We've put Lavinier to one. Now, continuing on with the pendulum hits, ladies and gentlemen, Electromite and Dark Worm were just the beginning for us. We've put Harmonizing Magician, Black Fang Magician, and Purple Poison all to one. This effectively takes care of Triff's plus 16 combos, and we here in the future definitely believe that this is for the best of Yu-Gi-Oh. And trust me, in the future, I won't have to be able to do this to grab a water. Just two months from now, I'll be able to go, Siri, bring me a water, and my automaton will be able to do wonders for me. Now, that being said, that completes our one-up section. Limiting to two, we understand here in the future that people liked Altergeist. Now that DZ is running for future president in the year 2019 October, we went ahead and we really love his content. So since DZ now owns Konami, we went ahead and we've limited Multifaker to two, Siliguidos to two, Marionetta to two, Meliseek to two, Manifestation to two, and Protocol to two. By doing this, we've effectively fixed Altergeist. You know, we, we understand that personal spoofing is left at three. Um, that may or may not have been an acquired decision to make Altergeist tier zero. Um, just my personal opinion, I haven't heard through the grapevine or anything under this list, but Altergeist might be tier zero under this list. We will eventually consider doing something about the deck, but considering that everybody now loves Ghost Girl, we've had to make that extreme decision because you know, DZ owns the future. And then unlimited on this list is three Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. We've seen the Dragon Link hasn't had a lot of potential in the future, so we went ahead and we've sped up the Guard Dragon engine. Now with triple Red Eyes Darkness Metal at your disposal, you're able to step through the combos even easier. And that is what the future is about. Altergeist and Guard Dragons. <sighs> this is what I read on the internet, ladies and gentlemen. These are our ban list predictions. These are the standard... We want to stop all of these decks from being tier one because we lose to them, ladies and gentlemen. That is what this list feels like. And the entire time I was going... What is this? This is not a real ban list. This is somebody's salty repertoire that is just like, I lost to this, I lose to this at Locals, I can't afford this. Like, this isn't how you fix Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, honestly. And banning no Dark Ruler no more in Nibiru? Like... 
<laughs> uh, I think we just make bandless predictions just to make them. And this is this is the worst one I've seen so far. Well, that being said, I'm going to go enjoy my 30th birthday now. And this was terrible. I, I'll expect to do more of these in the future. Peace out, guys. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.